So boys, 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 welcome back. Today is going to be an absolute banger. We're playing in the round of 16 in the Champions League. I've already played the first leg against said team. It's going to be a difficult one. We got a uh, we, we got a good team in the round of 16. But let's be honest, if teams are in the round of 16 in the Champions League, they're going to be good teams. There's very few teams. Like, there's only 16 teams left, which means the pool of uh, you getting a... Uh, not so great team it's there's not a big chance but the team that we got was psg unfortunately and like we all know how good their team is so yeah they, they've they've strengthened the squad quite a lot <laughs> so they have mendez hernandez marquinez they have urian timber and hakimi donnarumma vatinia they have simmons they've musiala asensio and bape and bape is still here they have Gonzalo Ramos on the bench, Hakimi's on the bench, Warnsey and Mari's on the bench. They hold on. They also bought Nico. What's the day by Nico for? For 43 million. That's an absolute deal. Don't they also have yet? Yeah, they've got Ugarte. Yeah, their team's looking pretty good. And we did play the first match against them. Unfortunately, it did not go to plan for us. They ended up beating us 4-3. This was down to one. They already have a very deadly team. But two, our team is a fucking shambles at the minute. We have had so many injuries. It's been insane. Like, I'll show you. We still have a lot of players out. And three or four people on our bench aren't even fit for today's game. That's like how bad things have been. So the last match you were here was for the cup. Then we jumped into the PT Cup semi-final first leg against Casapia. Beat them 5-0. Esposito got a hat trick. Anashio got one and Igor got one. Igor has been scoring a lot of goals. Him and Esposito have been doing very, very well. Then we jump back into the league against Rio Ave. Beat them 5-1. Esposito got one. Anashio got two. He was very, very close to getting a hat trick except the head off the crossbar. Trincao got one and Andrade got one. Then, like I said, we played the first match against PSG. It just, it was just, it was a good game. If if, you, if it was a neutral, if you were a neutral person watching, you'd love this. And it was absolutely fantastic. So, Dembele scored a goal for them in the 18. And then we scored in the 36 with Andrade. I was like, right, okay, right, okay. One each. Then we got a wee goal. Or sorry, Jamal Musiala got a goal. And then we got a goal. And then we get a goal. And then they got a goal. And then they got another goal. And I was just like, oh, for fuck's sake. But like I said, look, I expect this to happen. It's PSG. And they have a ridiculous team. Like, if we're being deadly serious, right? Let's go in and look at our team, right? Left back, we have a mass, who's usually a mass, but it's not a mass today. So Harry Amas, they have Nuno Mendes. We have Fresnita right back. They have Hakimi. On the left-hand side, we have Andrade, a new player we just brought in in January. They have Kylian Mbappe. <laughs> Their midfield is fucking Warren Ziamari, Xavi Simmons, Vitinha, Jamal Musiala, like their team. We have a do wrong. We have some good players. Like Milinkovic Savic is by far our best player. He's a world class player. He is in this game. He is a world class player. Vega is very, very good. Trencao was good. I would say Trencao's a pretty good player, but he's nowhere near like a world class player. Like he's got a lot of 14s and 15s. Who wants him? Interhoff, for fuck's sake. Here we go again, boys. It's it's past January, so we should be okay. <laughs> but like Trencao's a decent player. He's one that's kind of, I wouldn't say faded off a wee bit, but just like maybe because we're playing him in a different position as well. We're playing him on the right hand side as like an inside forward, but he's been doing well. But like I said, a player, not phenomenal, but a very good player. And then we have a good back line, but they also have a good back line. It, but it's there going forward when they have a Kylian Mbappe, Jamal Musiala, Xavi Simmons. Like the quality of their, go, their players going forward is the scary part. We can score goals. But so can they. But then in between those two games, we played Marioness. I don't know how to pronounce it. We ended up scoring six goals. They scored three. Like I said, our, just, our team has been absolutely shattered. The you know, I don't make excuses. If we were shit, I would just say we were shit. But our team has been absolutely fucking decimated by injuries. It's been it's been really bad. Like, it has been bad. So beat them 6-3. Um, Ruben Neves got two. Mickey Moore got two. Milinkovic Savage got one. And Kan Uzun got one. So that leads us to the game today unfortunately we have to go to them and we have to win like we have to win we need to beat them by two goals look we've done it before 
and we will do it again. But the only problem is, if we don't win today, boys, that's our Champions League over with. But like I said, if you go in the Champions League and you look at the teams that are still here, everybody's fucking here for a reason. Arsenal's good. Bayern's good. City's good. Chelsea's good. Milan's good. Newcastle have money and seem to be banned the right players because they do seem to be doing well. Like They beat Milan 3-2. Porto also have a good team. They've bought some good players. They're playing Man United. Villarreal have some good players. One I probably wouldn't expect to be here, Villarreal, unless they've bought some really... Hold on. Let's go and look at their squad. They still have Jeremy Pino. Jeremy Pino's fantastic, but he's just very, very expensive. Oh, they've done... They've got Alexander Sorloff. He was fantastic. I've, I've bought him in a couple of FMs. Just as like a big, like a strong, like a target forward. He's really, really good. How much did they pay for him? Eight and a half million is an absolute steal. It really, really is. Like I said, Jeremy Pino is always absolutely fantastic. Kid's amazing. And what's his buy clause? 178 million i think it's like 60 million or something at the start of the game isn't it they have sanchez very very good player as well there's nobody like jumping out at me that i'm like holy shit they have agabach norway player very very good still only 22 years old as well emil smith rowe is he on loan from arsenal he is okay emil smith rowe was very very good in this like he is very good he's still only 26 he feels like he's been around forever but yeah like, that would be, Villarreal probably be the team I wouldn't expect to be here because, like, but then you have to look at our team. They're probably looking at us and, like, what the fuck are they doing here? <laughs> well, we won the Champions League last year, Villarreal, that's why we're here. But, like I said, Inter's here, Real Madrid's here, Liverpool, Leipzig. Leipzig did very, very well last year as well. They got themselves into a semi-final. Barcelona's here, PSG's here. So, like I said, everybody is here. There's no mugs. Like, there's no wee team. You're like, holy shit, how did they get here? So, like I said, that leads us to a very, very hard game today away against po uh, Porto. <laughs> away against Paris and Javan. Look, like I said, we've beat big teams. We've came back from deficits. Look, you're not going to beat every team. Like I said, we've Atalanta beat us. That was down to bad injuries. PSG, yes, a little bit of fatigue and some injuries, but they also just have the firepower to score. But, like, we've only lost the what? Man United, Atlanta, PSG all season so once again look if our champions league draw finish our champions league run finishes here today look i would have liked to at least make it to the quarterfinals but when you come up against psg who've just got the players that they have it, look it's absolutely insane so today's team like i said is a little bit decimated sanchez nets anashio debast and diamande i'm happy to have our back line cost is having to play a mass is having to play right back because you can see Fresnita, still not back yet. Rodrigo Roberto is not back yet. Van Bommel isn't even fit. And then we also have Vidaldo still injured. Ruben Neves is suspended. Can Uzan is injured. Quadrago is injured. And uh, things are not looking too great. <laughs> Our first team, I would say, is pretty solid. Perhaps they would love to have a mass on this side and Fresnita or San Quadrago here. But look, it is what it is. I'm having to bring Milinkovic Savage back in the DM because we don't have anybody else here. Um, usually um asan plays if ruben davis is not playing but both of them ones one suspended one's injured and then andrade is going to start vega in the middle trincao out in the side and esposito up top esposito look boys 38 goals in 34 games look i'm just saying look he, he doesn't need too much more to get the he needs 12 goals to get the 50 how many games do we actually have left one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so if he scores in every game till the end of the season, he gets 50 goals. For obviously, if we beat PSG, we have another two games. So that'll be 14 games. If we get a wee bit further than that, it'll be 16 games. And he has a wee bit more of an opportunity to get more goals. But like these sort of smaller teams, I would expect them to get at least one or two goals in most of these games. I want to see him get to 55 goals to beat Gao Karras. But it's a huge feat. It is a huge feat because then that's what... Seven, he needs to score 17 goals in 12 games. But and honestly, he could do it. He could do it. With the teams that we're going up against, he could do it. But our main focus, like I said, is going to be on PSG today. In the league, we're doing very, very well. Esposito and Milinkovic Savic are both up there, one and behind. Marcus Leonardo has been doing very, very well. 19 goals in 28 games. Progressed very, very well. They bought him really cheap, didn't they? 15 million. That's an absolute steal. Marcus Leonardo is one that I always used to buy. He's just He was cheap. He's a good striker. But like I said, we're sitting in second, but Porto have played two more games than us, and we're only three points behind. Look, 24 games, 20 war win, 21 wins. I, that, W's apparently are really fucking hard today. 
three draws we haven't lost a game 75 goal difference and like i said porto are ahead of us but we do have two games in hand and then benfica have kind of they fell off a little bit benfica were right up there at the start of the season they were like in it around christmas they were right there with us and then they just kind of fell off a little bit but like I said, Esposito, Milinkovic, Savage, right in behind Marcus Leonardo, Harry Amas, and Asan Quadrago, both of our full backs, playing average range, playing really, really well. And then um Quadrago and Trincao in there. And then privacy keeper, Dennis Seaman hasn't been here for a long time, so he's not gonna be in there for clean sheets. But Harry Amas in there for player of the matches, four player of the matches, which is absolutely wild, because like he would be the player that I wouldn't think. If it was anybody in here for player of the matches, I thought it would have been uh Esposito. The kid's near 40 goals in his second season, and he hasn't even had four player of the matches. <laughs> With regards to transfers and stuff, we have no like transfer news or anything. I haven't really brought anybody else in. Like I said, the only person I'm thinking about bringing in next season is going to be young Cesar. Like I said, he does have that 15.5 million buyer clause. The kid's already ridiculously good. But boys, that's pretty much everything. <sighs> now we just have to go to PSG. And try and beat them by more than two goals. That's all, boys. No, I mean, it should be a fucking breeze. And like I said, no matter what happens today, look, I would love to go further, but when you come up against the best teams in the world, sometimes you need a wee bit of luck. We were unfortunate. And like I said, I, I won't make excuses. If we played absolutely dog shit against PSG, I'd be like, look, we just got steamrolled. They were the way better team. But honestly, fatigue and injuries kind of fucked us a little bit. And it's, we're not too bad. Like I said, just we don't have our right back. I'm having to play Milinkovic Savage out of position. We don't have Ruben Neves, who is a fucking huge player for us. But look, it's football. These things are going to happen. And if we can go and beat PSG with a wee bit of a rundown team, look, we've had to do it before. Last season, look at the teams we had to play in the Champions League. We lost Simic in January. We lost Ben Seguir in January. And we still went on and won the Champions League. So there's no reason why we can't get a result today. I'm always the eternal optimist. I think we can beat anybody on a given day. I think just between this formation and the team that we've built and how well everybody wants to play together. If we would have got a wee early goal in the third minute, that would have been absolutely fantastic. But the thing is going to be, we can score. But we need to stop them scoring. Please don't tell me. I was going to say, the game was telling me to bring Vega off. I was like, please don't tell me he's injured already. I, I can't take any more injuries. It's only Jamal Musiala, boys. Just no one get in there and give him a wee kicking. This is the problem with PSG. They just have people who just have so much pace between Dembele, Musiala, Xavi Simmons, Mbappe. Like, the, oh, just Dembele just runs past their defense like they're fucking not there. Honestly, a good save from the keeper, but unfortunately it just falls straight out to Xavi Simmons. I've, the ball never seems to fall to our players when it bounces off our keeper. I wish it would just fall to one of our... See what I mean? Like, look at this. Look how... F somebody fucking take the ball off him. <laughs> this is what I mean. Like, they just... The players they have just have ridiculous drift. This is... Uh, why is the ref putting it back? He's hardly offside. He was standing inside our box with four people around him. This is not how I wanted to start today's video, boys. Uh, they're uh, between how good. Uh, actually, uh, I know I shouldn't look at this. What a finish on the turn on his weak foot. Like it is a good finish. I can't. I'm trying to be happy, but also I'm pissed off at the same time. <laughs> Where the fuck is Javi Simmons when the team's up? Where is he? I haven't actually looked at Javi Simmons in a while. Jesus Christ. He's so fucking good as well. Here's the thing, somebody answer me, because he was on loan, right? He was, he's a PSG player, but he was on loan last season at Leipzig, isn't he? Did he go to Leipzig full-time this season? Hold on, ask him. Wants a new contract, right, okay. Did he go to Leipzig full-time, or is he back at PSG? Like, in real life, is he back at PSG? Because if he is back at PSG, they have a pretty solid fucking midfield. Because if he's there in real life, that means they have Warren Z. Amari, Jao Neves, and Xavi Simmons as their midfield three. We're only like 22 minutes in, but they have just, they've had all the ball. Like, literally, they've had the ball the entire time. Ugarte! It's been a while since we had an absolute spanking. I think today's about to be one of those spankings, boys. They're beating us 7-3 in aggregate. It's not too often we get a spank. 
It's fucking Ugarte he's doing over. That's how you know the game's absolutely fucking chalked. When Ugarte is doing overhead kicks. And then this is the shots that we're having. Just like these wee silly little passbacks. Look, it's not even half time yet. And we can get back in this game. Like, we know we can score goals. Just not with balls in the gut. Look, we come on. Diamonde, this is one of those matches, bro. I need you to have an absolute smasher. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Milinkovic Savage. Look, just have an effort. Don't go big, man. Look, just give him a wee... Mm. Show a wee bit of fight. That's all I... Look, you know that's all I ever asked. Sometimes you're just going to get your ass handed to you by a fucking better team. All I want is a wee bit of effort. If we go out today, it is what it is. Look, we move on to the next season. We fucking go again. But I just want some effort from the boys. I don't want them... Yeah, we're 3-0 down at half time. It doesn't mean you can't fucking come back and win. We have the players that come back and win this. But not if we have fucking shots again. Why did he not just carry that into the box? Why does it keep telling him? Is Gabri Vega having an absolute stinger? It's only the 36th minute. I don't really want to. I'll, I'll leave him till half time. I'm not going to lie. Vega has not been great this season. But like I said, it's his first season. I don't expect. Everybody's not going to be like, first season, I fucking I, I got sevens every game. Look, some players have a great first season. It takes them a wee bit of time. I'm also kind of playing them out of position a wee bit at the minute. So like... This is going to be one of them games where every shot we have just hits a defender and goes out, isn't it? Like, it's going to be one of those games. Come on, just get us a wee goal. If we can get one or two goals before... Anashio has been scoring those all season. Are we getting FM'd? I think we're getting FM'd. And when people say that, when you're getting FM'd, it means just like, no matter what you're doing, you just can't stick the fucking ball in the back of the net. But yet they'll shoot from 50 yards out and it flies in. Like, that's what I mean when people say they're being FM'd. You're just being fucked a little bit. But they do have the quality, and that's the main thing. Like, when you've got Kylian Mbappe in your team, and Xavi Simmons, and Jamal Musiala, and, uh... See, this is what I want. This is what I want. Just pick up the ball, go at them, don't be scared. I was hoping we could get a wee goal before halftime. So we're at halftime. I'm just going to tell the boys, honestly, you have been fucking terrible. I think I might bring Veg off. He's just, he's not playing great. The Bast is anxious, very frustrated, anxious. Look, boys, calm the fuck down. Like... Everybody relax. I'm going to put Harry and Mass out there. Costa's not having a great game. Fresnita can play 45 minutes. So I'm going to bring Fresnita on. Now here's the next problem. We don't really have a lot of attacking options. I don't want to... Yeah, bro, did we bring Mickey Moore on against fucking PSG? Honestly, I think the kid's good enough. He really is. And he couldn't play any worse than Vegas playing right now. So I'm going to move Trincao back into the middle. Probably his best position, if we're being honest, is probably right in there. Van Bommel, not really good at like dribbling and stuff, and he will be one that probably comes on if we're having a few more problems. But Vega, I need you off, bro. Like, you're just, you're not playing great. Honestly, nobody's playing great. Fucking Sanchez is on a 6.2. Granted, that he's conceded th three goals, so no mind. Like, his morale's probably tanked a little bit. But like, come on the fuck, boys. I honestly, th I'm not going to lie. So, I'm going to give it Savage just tackled the bat. I'm not going to lie. I actually thought that was a good tackle. Hold on. How's that a free kick? Granted, did he come through the side of him a little bit, but he got all the ball. Hopefully, Mbappe's injured. Only for a couple of days, as long as he's out for the rest of this game. <laughs> That'd be great. I would love them to take Mbappe off. So I'm gonna change the formation up a little bit. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna. I'm gonna basically go to this. I'm gonna get a four, four, two, three, one. And look, we need to get goals. This formation's this time. Like I said, we slapped PSG last season with this formation. It just do doesn't seem to be working today. So like I said, sometimes it's good to have like a wee alternative. We're just gonna mix it up a little bit. Look, we're already three 0 down. We've got fuck all to lose. Any other game, we are smashing those away. I don't like. FM's such a weird game. It's like the game knows you're playing well and it just decides to fuck you a little bit, but it keeps you coming back, boys, doesn't it? You're like, one more season, boys. We can win the Champions League again. Let's do it. And then you come back and you keep playing. Does somebody want to explain just what happened right there? I have no idea what I just seen. <laughs> what in the fuck was that? The match is over. We just, we got, we honestly, we just, we played shit. We did. 
honestly, like even if you look at the XG, there's not much of a difference. Like there's really not. We had 16 fucking shots. We had more shots than they did. And they scored three goals. If, I honestly just believe we get FM today. But it happens. Look, when you play the big teams, I talked about this, it can go any way. And when you pussyfoot around and have terribles, like honestly, all our shots were horrendous. They were like, none of them had any fucking va va behind them at all. But this team, look, I'm still happy with this team. And like, there is a few changes I probably need to make. Like I said, Andrade has just come into the team. We just lost our keeper in January and our fucking captain, which is a bit of a kick in the balls. Anashio has just come in this season. Milinkovic Savage has just come in this season. Vega's just come in this season. Like, we have a lot of people. Marta has just come up into the squad. So, like, the, the team's getting moved around a little bit. It's no excuse. I think we got... They, just, they were the better team in the first match. And, like, they tore us apart a little bit. And then we scored three. They scored four. But in that match, but they beat us 3-0... I think honestly we get we get FM'd a little bit. Like we had more shots, we had more passes, the XG difference was very minimal, and just like I'm trying to be optimistic, but I'm also very pissed off at the minute. Because you know I don't like losing games, and especially 3-0, which means now that is us out of the Champions League, unfortunately, for this season, which kind of fucking sucks a little bit. But we are still in the cup. Because if you go into our competitions, look, we're doing well in the league. Unfortunately, you get knocked out by PSG, it is what it is. The Europa Super Cup, we've already won that. The Cup, the Portuguese Cup, we're still in that. The Portuguese League Cup, we have won that already. We've won the Super Cup. Like, we have done very, very well. It's just unfortunately that the Champions League run is over here, which kind of sucks a little bit because, like, I love... Let's be honest, we all love playing in the Champions League, boys. It's our fucking favourite competition. But, boys, I think that's a really good spot to stop off for today's video. Look, it's just unfortunate. We just... We could be a bad team that has better players. Javi Simmons, Jamal Musiala, Warren Ziamari, Nuno Mendes, Hakimi, Mbappe. Look, we just got beat by the better team. I just, because we could beat 3 0, if we'd have scored one or two goals and give a wee bit more of a count of ourselves and could beat 3 2, I'd have been happy enough. I say happy enough, I'm still going to go and cry. <laughs> but, boys, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. What if you fucking want to? And YouTube. Have yourselves a fantastic day. There's always next year.